Agent Romanov. You miss me? Oh yeah, Charles. We got ourselves an excellent fan. Captain. Guys. Captain. Big fan. Spider-Man. Hey guys and welcome to Film Artsy, your number one source for all things films and movies. My name is Elijah and with all of the big question marks being put out there as to when we're going to be seeing the movies that were set to release just this summer in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it looks like we're finally going to be getting somewhat of a more clear answer coming directly from Disney and we finally have a new Phase 4 outline which we can now expect for the releases for upcoming Marvel Cinematic Universe movies. Now this is something we've speculated a lot about on this channel as we were seeing these delays. There was a lot of questions as to whether or not they were just going to uproot Black Widow and place it back down somewhere else for a different release or if everything else in the MCU was going to see a domino effect of delays and everything was going to get pushed back. It looks like the latter of those two options happened and every single movie for Phase 4 is going to be pushed back and kind of placed into a different type of release schedule. So we have all that information today, so let's go ahead and jump into it. So to kick things off, we are seeing Black Widow getting delayed until later on this year. With this movie originally being set to release just in May, we are going to see it still in 2020, being the only movie release this year in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. At least as far as the main Disney Marvel Cinematic Universe, there's still a few questions about whether or not Venom 2 will come out this year, which might be joining the MCU because of the whole Sony Spider-Man deal. But nonetheless, we're going to be seeing Black Widow release just in November. November, on November 6th, 2020, which isn't too uncommon. This is actually a window that the MCU has used before to release movies, doing a November-ish release, so it's not anything too uncommon, though it is something we haven't seen in a while. Then we have The Eternals, the next movie in the MCU slate, which was originally supposed to come out later this summer. We're going to be seeing a delay all the way until February of 2021. Now this seems like a really big pushback, but actually this is a pretty normal time slot for movies to be released in the MCU. We usually actually see a movie release every year in the early quarter one into quarter two time period for MCU movies. This is very similar to when we saw Captain Marvel release originally, so we'll be seeing that come out early next year. This then of course pushes Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings a little bit back, now coming out with a May 2021 release date instead. And then we're going to see that Doctor Strange movie that we've actually talked about whether or not it was going to get delayed for other issues nonetheless see a release in November of 2021, which was originally set to have a summer release, just getting pushed back a little bit. So we're starting to see the Marvel Cinematic Universe already begin to catch up a little bit after all of this stuff that's gone on and all of these delays and whatnot. The schedule should be getting back on track slowly but surely by the time we see a Doctor Strange release, though we're going to be seeing a really interesting year when 2022 rolls around just because of the confirmed lineup that Disney just dropped on us with the movies that are going to be coming up in 2022. We're going to start the year off in February with Thor Love and Thunder, which is one a lot of people are really excited about, not only because they're going to be doing a lot of interesting things with the characters, but also just because in general Thor Ragnarok was such a unique film and it seems like that aesthetic and that vibe is going to be put back into it. So we can expect a release of that in February 28th of 2022. Then in May, we're going to see another kickoff with Black Panther 2, which is really exciting. So we're going to get a major Thor movie followed by another Black Panther movie just a couple of months apart, which is really awesome. And then to top it off on top of all of that, we're going to get Captain Marvel 2 in July. So we're seeing Thor, Black Panther, and Captain Marvel all release within five months of each other. So that's going to be kind of a really crazy time to be a Marvel fan. And we're really excited for when that rolls around. And that's kind of just the end of what Marvel has announced so far. 
we fully expect somewhere in this timeline we're also going to see Spider-Man 3, but that's Sony's release, so we don't get the official announcement at the same time. However, it is really interesting that we're going to be seeing so many Marvel movies coming out just in a tight period of time because of all of these delays, and then on top of all of that, we already are only going to be seeing one MCU movie release this year with Black Widow being pushed back just to later on this year. So what do you guys think of all of these release dates? Are you excited for the MCU? Are you excited for this news? Or are you really disappointed that we are going to have to wait a little bit longer for these movies? Let us know what you're thinking in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on for more videos like this, and we'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye guys! Awesome. I'm about to. Hi, everybody. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Hi. 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 <laughs> 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 See you guys.